For what purpose does a gentleman from New York seek uh, recognition? Without objection, gentlewoman from New York is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I'm honored to open the House this morning during this most important Women's History Month. Our nation's foremothers stood up to injustice and by changing the course of history, opened the doors of opportunity to all of America's daughters. It's our duty to recognize and honor these tireless efforts. The past summer, our great nation celebrated the 160th anniversary of the 1848 Women's Rights Convention in Seneca Falls, New York. As you know, this groundbreaking convention was dedicated to the key principle in the Declaration of Independence that we are all created equal. From securing a woman's right to vote in 1920 to serving our country in Iraq and Afghanistan, we have come a long way. In this Congress alone, we have much to celebrate. Speaker Pelosi is the first woman to lead this esteemed body and Senator Clinton made 18 million cracks in the nation's highest glass ceiling as the first woman to run a formidable presidential campaign. Yet as we celebrate these important milestones and look back at all we've achieved since 1848, we know our journey toward true gender equality is not complete. We must continue to fight for equality. This month, we honor the women who blazed the trail for all women. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas seek uh, recognition? Request permission to address the House.